everyone welcome to varuna garden i am vandana and in today's episode we're going to have a look at the hibiscus seedlings i have been sowing these seeds right from october so october november december and as recent as january so these seeds are four and a half to as new as one month old they are the ones right here let's have a look at them here you go the ones that are in the seed tray they are the hibiscus seedlings the rest of them please ignore i didn't have time to remove all of them to shoot this video i have also sown a couple in small cups like these they've also fared well because i ran out of seed trays let me show you this for example this is one of the most successful sows i would say lots of uh, seeds germinated except for this i know only one parent in this this is yellow double so yellow double layered hibiscus was crossed with an unknown parent and i have these many seedlings let me see this one this particular hibiscus is a wide yellow color which has a red ring at the center and this was again crossed with an unknown parent Let's just take one more here. As you can see, it's very difficult to keep a track. I don't. My methods are not really up to standards. I have used a uh, paper and then have stuck a cello tape because it would prevent fading as well as from water. But clearly, it hasn't worked. I can still make out. This is a yellow wide, which has a red ring at the center. In this seed tray there is one row which has two seedlings and I know the parents of both of them. This is a lovely yellow medium hibiscus crossed with a dark pink light pink flower. I'll put a picture for reference so that you know which one and I have two seedlings. It's so interesting if you have a look at them the way the leaves are the true leaves as well as the true leaves of the other seedling. This has a pretty good uh, name tag still intact. So you can see white wide, there's orange wide and then lovely pink medium. Again only one parent known but at least something is better than nothing. This particular seed tray has performed really well. You can see a lot of uh, seeds have germinated. Here is one more seed tray. and one particular row has both the parents i'll read it out yellow single or double so there is one hibiscus plant that has a single layer as well as a double layer uh, flower and it was crossed with the seed grown red hibiscus and these are the seedlings of those so i'm happy i have at least 1 2 3 4 5 and then there is one sixth i don't know about that but at least five seedlings it will be interesting to see how they flower whether they are going to be the same kind or different so identical or fraternal twins these seedlings are currently in full sun on my terrace so the day temperature in bangalore is not more than 31 degrees and the night temperature is not less than 16 degrees so i'm thinking it's ideal i water them every evening i use a water can and uh, you know spray water profusely I also use uh, very very diluted NPK water absolutely diluted uh, it's not negligible but not too very harsh for these small little seedlings I also use liquid uh, seaweed fertilizer every 20 to 21 days and the NPK is almost one uh, I have, I think I've used it just uh, two times over the span of uh, Four month for the four month old seedlings, just uh, twice, and for the new ones, no, it's only organic uh, fertilizer, the liquid seaweed fertilizer. These seedlings have about four to five true leaves, uh, some even uh, six. I will be transplanting them to the small little nursery pot. They're about three inch or so. They don't come with. Uh, Drain holes. I'll be drilling uh, two or three small holes and be transplanting one seedling. I will have to make sure to retain the name tag. Try to make it as waterproof and fade-proof as possible. Well, 
that was it this was my hibiscus seedling update i hope you enjoyed watching it and it was informative i will transplant them and i will make a video on that too follow me on all the social media platforms to stay updated and we will see how long it takes and when they will bloom thank you for watching my video everyone i will see you in another video until then happy gardening bye